Hi there, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Nicole, and today I'm gonna to be sharing the newest addition to my collection, which is the Elegoo Jupiter. It's a 6K printer, it's super large, super heavy, and I am really excited to share what I've created so far. I took this iguana specifically, which I scanned on the Einstar, imported it into my sculpting software, as you see on the right, added some details, amplified it, made it a little bit more realistic, and decided to print it. I also took my running shoe, as you can see here, and I left it as is. I didn't leave any detail. I wanted to see what would come out from the scanner, and I was pleasantly surprised with the results. I did ensure that it was watertight, so there were no holes or gaps or anything like that. But if you want to see this video in full, I'll link it down below so you can see the Einstar scanner, its capabilities, and then watch this video to see the result. Overall, I can say this is super user friendly, easy to use, and the outcome is amazing. You can get really high quality detailed scans. I was playing around with this blue standard resin from Elegoo. It's the perfect prototyping resin. It's terrible in terms of durability and strength and toughness, but when you're just printing a figurine or something that, you know, isn't a mechanical product, it's perfect. It's a cheap resin, but it still provides you with high detailed results. The orientation here, I did print it backwards just to reserve all the detail uh, to be untouched by the support structures. And I've recently gotten quite a few comments on if I can leave the resin in the tank. The answer is yes, but you do have to give it a stir with a proper stir stick, not the scraper, and make sure that the uh, pigments are all mixed up because sometimes they do separate. Just going back quickly regarding the orientation, I made sure that there weren't too, too many supports on the face area. I strategically kind of put it on like the spiky spine area and on the back because I would kind of blend in better and I think this was the best result. Um, I also hollowed this model. So without hollowing, it was like half a bottle of resin and it would be extremely heavy. Uh, chances are this would either fail because of the weight and you would have to have like so much support or it just would require too, too much resin. And the actual model is made out of wood, so I wanted like a very light and fun alternative. And I think hollowing with a three millimeter wall thickness was the best option. And uh, by doing this, I saved about 400 mil of resin, which is quite a bit in the long run. As you can see here that this model is extremely large and it did not fit in my wash or cure. So I did have to use an alternative bucket to wash, but in terms of the curing station, I didn't have much option. So I found that when I just removed the uh, little spin table, then it fit perfectly. So I had no issues with that afterwards. I threw it in the cure for about 10 minutes, five minutes on each side. I did flip it after a little bit and then I flipped it again on its side and I found that this worked perfectly. This particular resin, I don't think it needs to be cured for too long. I think just a couple of minutes, but since this is so large, I took an extra moment to make sure it's cured. Uh, since it's also hollow, I used the little UV torch and I put it inside the model to ensure that the inside was cured. Overall, this was an extremely fun project. I was able to take this model that I got from the Dominican and really put my touch on it, put all extra details and kind of customize it to what I like. As you can see, my turntable has a little light projecting from the center and that just kind of gave me the idea how this would be such a nice little night light. If you put an LED light inside, it could just glow. So I'm gonna consider doing that because I think this would be a really nice um, feature for my brother's room or something if he likes it. This is the alternative print that I did on the Elegoo Saturn and it is AK resin on the AK printer. and. Honestly, the difference between 6K and 8K, I, I can't really tell you because it's very small. So this is the interior of the Jupiter. Very nice, very large scale, but the build platform is something that is not particularly my favorite. 
it does require you to loosen up the screws and loosen up that top bolt but in terms of leveling it does get complicated because when you tighten up that bolt it does lift the bill plate so um, leveling it completely can be tedious and it can be quite a long time but I do have a way to fix that which I'll show you in a bit this is the air purifier it has a carbon block filter I don't know if this does very much um, maybe some people with Elegoo products can uh, speak about their experience in the in the comments but to be honest I don't think it does much and I'm also not sure when I'm supposed to change it either there's no clear signs but um, yeah I'll, I'll definitely look into that the next feature here is the automatic resin feeding so the Jupiter comes with this unique little screw on that you can attach to resin bottle caps and you just place the bottle upside down and it's a connector onto the resin tank uh, so it allows the resin to automatically feed into the tank so you don't have to worry about a print running out of resin midway this is a feature I only use sometimes because uh, I like to swap the colors often and this tank is very large. It holds maybe two bottles of resin and if I'm just doing one print and I want to swap it, I don't want to have to filter two bottles of resin and put it back in and try to figure out how to you know, store it. So if I know this is only going to take 300 ml, I'm going to put a little bit of resin and then just print it and top it up if needed. Here I'm just removing the support structures on the shoe. Again, I hollowed out the model completely. It did not require a lot of resin and I just placed all the supports on the bottom of the shoe. Going back to this topic, there are so many benefits with hollowing out your models. So if you don't do it, you definitely need to hop on it. I know it might seem like you kind of ruin or damage the model by using the dig holes to drain the resin, but you save so much and it's also lighter and uh, you don't have to put as many support structures or you can reduce the touch point diameter so that you don't have those blemishes and you have a perfect model. So I definitely recommend it. If you have any questions on how to do it in the software, I'll be happy to help. So here I'm just cleaning up my workstation with some 99% IPA. I find that you need to do this right after printing or right after removing your supports, whatever mess you have, uh, because resin is a pain to take off once it's cured or set or whatever. Uh, this resin is pretty easy to clean off. You just need to make sure you have alcohol and or other cleaning products, but I can definitely vouch for alcohol. It works perfectly. Here I'm just cleaning off the build platform because I'm going to be installing the Wham Bam flexible build plate. And this is what I think is going to be one of the best solutions for the trouble I've been having with calibrating this printer. Since it's a very large build plate, I find that when I tighten the screws, even when I did, you know, one on the left side and one on the right side and kind of did, um, everything that they suggested, I found that it was extremely difficult to get a perfect leveling with the procedures that they provided. So I think this would be a great alternative to have because I won't have to remove the bill plate from the printer every time. I'll just have to remove the flexible bill plate and go from there. I'm sure many people can relate to this um, because I find that when you remove the bill plate from the printer and use your scraper to remove the supports from the base, uh, you are moving the bill plate and not creating a flat surface. So every time you remove your print, you have to do the same, same calibration process because it, it miss levels so i think this would save so much time save so much energy and uh, provide with some consistent results here i am just taking the little tape part and placing the adhesive on the build platform i cleaned it with alcohol and sand it with some i think 400 grit paper sandpaper and it provided with a really nice flat surface 
Within the instructions, they also mentioned to leave the bill plate for about 72 hours to ensure that the adhesive has binded to the platform. I didn't notice this until afterwards, so thankfully I already got my prints done. Uh, and yeah, so if you do decide to purchase this, just make sure that you have some time to leave your platform so uh, no issues arise. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I am very happy with the result of the Jupiter. And if you have any suggestions on what I should print next, I'll definitely take them into consideration because I want to be printing really large prints and painting them. I think that's such a fun thing to do, even though I'm not the best at it, but it is super fun. Uh, I'm going to be sharing the sculpting process of the iguana. So if you are interested, stay tuned. I hope you all are doing great and I'll see you next time with a new video.